there and welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you joined me here for Thursdays with Annette. Thanks for making time for me. So today we're in the kitchen making a fabulous Malay dish and I think everybody pretty well loves satay. So this is the recipe we're making today. It's out of book three and it's the satay pork recipe. It is so easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do it. And so you can be a very international cook now. I mean, on Tuesday we did Indian butter chicken. So now we're going to Malaysia. But before we get into it, let's talk about last week's winners who all were very excited because uh, I made the banana bread using a sachet of the iced coffee shake. So these lucky ladies all have won their very own box of shakes. I know, so Delwyn Leach... Deborah Dugan and Louise Cotter are all very happy gals, that's for sure. And of course, I'll be giving away later in the show. So now, satay pork. Let's talk about the ingredients we need first. So I need to do a third a cup of really finely diced onion. We want a teaspoon of crushed garlic. We want 600 grams of butterfly pork steaks. Now, I had trouble. I went to three different supermarkets and I couldn't find any butterfly pork steaks. What's going on, people? So I landed up getting the loin, the loin of pork, which is a bit smaller. Uh, basically, if I could show you, that's the pieces we're using and normally it'd be together. Um, but anyway, we're going to work it out. No worries at all. It's fine. So you want 600 grams. And I'm going to show you how to skewer it. But some of you might even prefer just to dice. Up to you. Now also we need the flavours for this beautiful um, satay sauce. You need coriander, you know, and this is the seeded coriander. So I think a lot of people say that um, it's ground. So it doesn't seem to hit you if you don't like coriander. Apparently you don't notice it. Uh, Turmeric, cumin and some chilli powder. That's an option for you. We're also going to use some no added so uh, low added salt, low salt um, soy sauce. Sorry, I'm getting my tongues all twisted here. Um, we've got also a quarter of a cup of crunchy peanut butter, evaporated milk and coconut essence. Now, if anyone's having trouble finding the coconut essence, well, it's because Woolworths and Coles do not sell it anymore. We need to boycott them. If there's any people that are big heads in Woolworths and Coles, can you do something about it? Because this is crazy. Anyway, you can now get it also in IGA. Okay, so go to IG supermarkets. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. Or you can go to the Queen's website and they uh, sell it direct as well. So what I've done to start with though is I've soaked my skewers. Or Do we call them skewers? Yeah, I call them skewers. Sticks, <laughs> kebab, bamboo ske skewers. Um, I've done some ahead, um, which I'll show you in a minute, but because I thought for time, but they're in the water. The reason I've done that, and let me just start um, working on my chicken and my pork. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the knife and cut each of the pieces down the middle. I'm going to make the sauce while we're cooking it, okay? So what you do is you get your skewer. Now I've soaked it. So what the key is that you do that so you don't burn the skewer when you're grilling it, or it helps anyway. Now, see what I'm doing? I'm just weaving it through the meat. And then I'm going to push it down because I'm going to do two pieces. It's not hard to do, is it? I actually think it's a bit of fun. Once again, skewering in. All the way, try and get it through the middle as much as you can and then push it together. So there's a skewer done, all right? So let's do some more. We get that. There's my knife. Cut this in half. So this is the thing. If you were doing the variations, you can actually um, do this with chicken, rump, or tofu if you're vegetarian. So, hello, he just joined me. What am I doing here with these sticks? Well, I'm making satay pork from book three. So once again, the pointy bit is what you want. Now, let me just turn my grill on because I'm going to get cooking in a minute. Here we go. Now, what you do is you get the pointy, not the flat end, but the pointy end, and you go through the strips. 
See? Push it down, grab the other half, and look how beautiful and lean this is. And I think it's, um, this is where you can really save a lot of fats um, because, you know, often they might use a fattier pork cut than this one. Okay, so now we'll keep doing the skewers. Now, there's, what you do is you do 12 all up. But if you just see here, I've already done six ahead because I wanted to save on time um, because we've also got to make the sauce. So let's keep going here, Annette. I know you've got a busy day ahead of you. Now, if you um, got my newsletter today, went out today, first, of the, first week in the month, it always goes out, it's free newsletter, uh, you would have seen that I've released for a short time a fabulous ebook that I've created and it's called Winter Warmer ebook. And it gives you um, um, recipes, menu plan, like it's fantastic support over winter because this can be a real challenging time for slimmers. So as you can see, I get the steak, try and be fairly even with your cut down the middle and pointy side. Now I'm gonna grill these today so they won't brown as much as if you were doing them on the barbie, but that's okay because we're covering it with a fabulous sauce, so it's okay to do that. It's all about the sauce, to be honest, and it doesn't take long to cook the, cook the pork. Pork cooks really quickly. Look at that, see? There's another one done. What it is, is it's a very lean mint, meat, or white meat, and you don't want to overcook it. I mean, the pork we have today is a heck of a lot better than the pork my grandmother used to eat, that's for sure. You had to cook it right to, that was overcooked to the jeebers. Um, whereas now, the quality of the meat that we eat with the pork is so much better. So you're just putting them in. Can I tell you what I've done for parties is I've actually broken them in half and actually done just one of these on a skewer and had them as a pickup for parties because, you know, what a great idea. As I said, you can do chicken, you can do um, rump, or for the veggies, you can do um, tofu. And I've actually also done prawn, which was really nice too. All right, there's our skewers done. So let me bring the tray over. I've already sprayed it with cooking spray. Now, as I said, I'm going to grill them um, so they won't take long because they're very thin. So while I'm making the sauce, we will cook these. So I'll just give them a, I'll give them a quick spray of cooking spray as well, because why not? And in they go. Now, I put them on a tray because I find that easier. I might leave that open. Let me wash my little pork hands because I need now to get onto the sauce. Now, the thing is you don't have to cook them for very long because they're quite thin. So let's get rid of this. And now I'm going to do my onion. I don't need that anymore. I don't need this. Into the soapy sink. All right, so now it's about the satay sauce. Oh my God, it's so yum. All right, so let's take the skin off the onion and we're going to do finely diced. And the idea is you don't want big chunks of onion in the sauce, okay? Then we're going to go down. Oh, this is a weird onion. And then finely, very finely dice. We need a third of a cup. So hello if you've just joined me. I'm making satay, oh, satay pork out of book three. And we've done our skewers. You get 12 skewers, so you get two per serve. I think that looks like the onion's great. All right, so let's measure because I need third of a cup. And really, this is all the prep that you have to do for this. That's good. 
Oh, that's why that onion was a bit weird. The middle bit was left in the bowl. Okay, all right, so let's make the sauce. Once again, I'm gonna wash my little onion fingers. Let's bring this over. All right, okay, so it's now about the sauce. Let's bring it all in. Um, we need the cookie spray and I need to turn my cooker on. And what we'll do is we're gonna start by putting the onion and the garlic in first. So let's put the onion in. And you just cook that off for a couple of minutes. Now, the, the thing is, with satay, it's really high in fat. So when you're on a weight loss program, it's probably one that you would definitely avoid if you're going out to an uh, Asian restaurant because it's really high in fat. All right, so. Now, it says in the thing to do it in a pot, but because I want you to see what I'm doing, I'm doing it in a little fry pan. And while that's cooking, I'm going to actually put my spices together because it just takes less time when you're, while you're waiting for the onion. So we want a teaspoon of the coriander seed um, ground, half a teaspoon of cumin. I'll check my, my skewers in a minute. Oh my God, I'm so excited you're with me today because this is a recipe that you know you might have never thought to try making yourself but when you see it is just super easy that's right it's satay pork and traditionally of oh, this one I'm going to do the chili I'm going to go down to a quarter where's my let me just move that onion around I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of chili in um, you might like to do an eighth if you don't like a lot of chilli or you might actually even just leave it out if you don't like it. So let's cook it off. Cook those spices off a little bit. That's it. Now I'm just going to remove that over there for a minute because I want to check my uh, <coughs> the, <coughs> the chilli. Let's check our kebabs. Our skewers. All right, they're looking great. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, Billy. Let me get my thing out. It's, it won't come. It's sort of sticking. Oh, there we go. No. Here we go. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to turn them over. See, they're still a bit pink, so that's because we're going to cook the other side. And notice how the skewers haven't really burnt, and that's because I soaked them. All right. So remember, it's two per person. Or as I said, you know, great for a party if you want to make them like smaller. Okay, now let me fix this before I put it in. It's just a bit hot. Okay, in we go. See, it's just not sitting flat. Okay, now let's get back to this. So what we, we need to do is we need three quarters. I better turn it on, yes. Three quarters of a cup of evaporated light milk. Now, the traditional way of satay, as I said, is really just the fat just sucks on your thighs as you speak. It actually is about 36 grams of uh, fat per serve and 720 calories. So you need one half a teaspoon of coconut essence. All right, I'm going to put the um, tablespoon of soy sauce in here as well. That's the low salt. All right, so let's put that in. Oh, yum. And then all we've got to do is add the peanut butter, which is the main thing 
that I think really, really brings this sauce to be such a beautiful satay. How easy was it? I mean, you're just going to slowly melt that. Don't have the heat too hot, but you'll see slowly the peanut butter will melt in. Now you can make this sauce and freeze it for a couple of weeks if you wanted to. But instead of 36 grams of fat, my way, 6.4 grams of fat. I know you're welcome. I mean, how good is that? I'm just going to give it a little whisk now. Basically, our sauce will be done in a little, little mini. How good is that? So, a traditional Malay dish, which is so yum, made at home the Simply Too Good way. And as I said, remember, you can make it with chicken, rump, pork, or tofu, or even prawns. And don't forget to soak your little thingies. All right. I'm going to turn that off. That's bubbling away. Looking a bit amazing. Thank you very much. My God, whoever wrote this recipe is a genius. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> All right, now let's clean up our mess here because I'm going to see how our skewers are going. We don't need this anymore. And of course, the dairy free option of, is the um, almond milk. You can always do that, which works well. So no one's missing out on this one. If you've got a nut allergy, well, I'm sorry, I've got nothing for you. All right, so let's see how they're doing. Oh, they look great. Let me just turn this off. See, so while you're cooking, you make the sauce. There they are, boom. Now, I've got my little plate ready to go. But what I like to do is actually put the sauce into a container. Look how beautiful that is. I'm just a bit quiet because I'm just in awe of how delish this is because I know how amazing it tastes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pop some skewers on. Here we go. Actually, I can pick them up. Yeah, look at this. Would you like this for dinner tonight? I certainly would. So there, we'll just do four. And then you pour the sauce over. I know. How good is that? Just spread it a little bit. So everyone's going to get a bit of the sauce. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let me move that and that. There is your satay pork skewers. How easy! Now, if you would like to win book three, because that's where the recipe is, you know what you've got to do. You have to like, share, and then in the comments, I need you to write hashtag simply too good. Simply too good. That's it. <laughs> hashtag simply too good. I'm going to pick three people. One, two, three. And they are going to win book three personally signed by me next week. Now, next Tuesday, I'm back for the month of June, still doing the home ec with Annette. So Tuesdays with Annette next week, which would be a perfect accompaniment for this, is cauliflower fried rice out of cooking for one or two. I am obsessed with this recipe. I mean, I like to look at carbs, but I don't obsess over it. But this recipe is just such a guilt-free way to have what you think is rice and it's so easy to make so we're going to cook it together so you go to the website the recipe is there buy your ingredients look at the things that you'll need the props and whatever you need and let's do it next tuesday but next thursday i'm doing another classic favorite i just feel a bit nostalgic about book one right now and i'm going to be making mango chicken now this is one of it's a classic it's one of the ones my very one of my first new recipes that i made a hundred years ago using the uh coconut essence so that was my idea i created that using evaporated milk a hundred years ago so we're going to make that on the show next week so i hope you join me now remember this is the satay pork in my belly after the show finishes thank you very much now i mean go to the website you've got lots of tips there Lots of recipes, but also got the new um, 
winter warmer ebook that's only available for a short time. So grab your copy, it's an ebook and you can download it and it's fantastic. I mean, at the end of the day, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you Tuesday. Bye now.